Kazo is a name that strikes fear into the hearts of the Minecraft community. After all, he's known for joining numerous SMPs with the sole purpose of making the experience of other players as miserable as possible. Now, I have also experienced this firsthand. So, when I saw he was joining the same SMP I was, I saw an opportunity. I mean, I could finally strike back. I could finally get my revenge. Hi, Wenzo. Uh, we're teaming. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not giving you a choice. Well, great. The plans are out the window, and I have no idea how I'm going to get my revenge. Sneaking up on Tazo is no longer an option because he's going to be keeping a very close eye on me. And let's be honest, he's definitely planning to betray me the first chance he gets. So for now, all I can do is just gear myself up and try to wait for a perfect moment where I can strike Tazo down. And while that may not be a very good plan, it's all I have. Oh. What's up, Tazo? What's up, Wenzo? So, I have a proposition. Apaxio is a player that nobody knows much about. I mean, he's kept suspiciously quiet from the moment he first joined this SMP. Now, this instantly puts him on my do not trust list. Well, right now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm the only one without a team, okay? So, you want a team with us? He did want to team, and that is a major red flag. Apaxio is a very smart player, and he would have no problem using that against us in a combat situation. How do we know we can trust you. How do what we know if you we'll... instead just teamed with us? That, that would be better, actually. That would be a lot less stressful, actually. You can't tell me this doesn't seem suspicious. I mean, Tazo was very quick to accept Apaxial into the team. It's almost as if Tazo and Apaxial are secretly working together so they can end me in a 2v1. Um... Wait, Wenzo, we should probably start heading towards spawn. Let's go back the way we came in. Uh, where are you right now? Like, are you at spawn? I'm kind of far out, but I could get there. Right, I'll, I'll make my way up. I'll, I'll start coming. Was this a setup? I mean, it's not like I have an option. I am being forced against my will to meet with this player. I am literally trapped. I'm almost at spawn right now. Okay, um, should he come to our cords? Yep, I'm 200 blocks away. Am I being led to my doom? Is this going to be the end? Will I ever be able to get my revenge on Tazzle? What direction? Are you coming from? JJ, run, run. Axel, Axel, we're gonna meet you. We're gonna meet you. We're gonna okay, meet okay. you. We're gonna meet I'm, you. I'm, I'm, with a completely new player appearing from out of nowhere, I now have only two options. Either I try to fight JJ and inevitably die, or I take my chances with Tazo and Apaxel and just pray this isn't a setup. They're not gonna expect it. They're not gonna expect us to be with you, Apaxel. Do they, do they see us? Probably. No, this is fine. If if we get to a Paxel in time, I don't see JJ. JJ, oh my gosh, I don't. He, I think he lost us. I think we lost. Keep swimming, keep swimming. We had gotten away with our lives, but that incident had forced me into an unwanted meeting with a Paxel. This meeting being the one that could mark my end. But that wasn't the case. In fact, Apaxial even offered me the diamonds to get myself a weapon upgrade. Which is not usually the sign that someone wants to kill you. Had I really been overthinking this meeting the entire time? I mean, we could try to get back at JJ and his teammate. Yeah, I mean, if we go now, we could definitely catch them off guard. You see, JJ didn't pull up on us earlier for no reason. In fact, the village we ran through to meet Apaxio, that was him and his teammate's base. And while I still don't know if I can fully trust Tazo, killing JJ and Diony will not only provide us with better gear, but something even bigger. Something I haven't told you about yet. Okay, the village is over here. I think they're back at the village. We gotta remember they could be more geared than us. Make sure you have your axe okay. ready as well in case they have shields. Oh, wait, I think I saw one of them. Oh, I see one of them. I see one oh, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's tiny. It's tiny. JJ is there. Yeah. We need to shift then. Let's go on the tree. Oh, JJ's right here. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, get him, get him. Diney's gonna come. Diney's here. Diney's here. He's about to get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. I'm yes! I got it. I'm getting the loot. Get Diney, get Diney, get Diney. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. I'm, I'm, he's, he's got cobwebs. He's got. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Diney's weak. Diney's weak. Diney. Diney. Okay, I got him, I got him. Yes! yes! Let's go! Oh my god, take the stuff, take the stuff so they- But all of this may have been a terrible mistake. You see, every time you get a kill on this server, you get rewarded with a permanent positive potion effect. And on the contrary, death results in a permanent negative one. Now this may sound good, as our team now has two positive effects, 
right? Well, the player that got both of the kills was Tazo, and this now puts him in a dangerously powerful position. Whoa, what what effects did you get? What effects did you get? I got fire res and strength. With his two permanent potion effects, Tazo is at an incredibly large advantage over everyone else, meaning he doesn't need me around anymore. I'm just an easy kill to him. I'm just a free potion effect to him. I'm just being given one of his permanent potion effects. Why? Tazo had given up one of his effects so I could have it instead, but how can I be sure he's not just luring me into a false sense of security? Is this really a true sign of trust? All this time, I've been so focused on our past together that maybe I was just too blind to see a new friendship? <laughs> oh, they have Enchanter. Okay, we're gonna get that soon. We're gonna get that today. We need that today. Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did they team oh, up? They did. And not only are they now a team of five, but they have every reason to hunt us down. Revenge gear power. These were all outcomes that killing us would achieve. I just didn't expect the ambush to happen so soon. Oh, yeah, Rion. Wait, you see him? I oh. just saw his thing went into distance. By checking the second skin layers on the tab list, it was revealed that our enemies were hot on our tail. Yeah, Rion's here. Raz is here as well. JJ's get in here. The wall, get in the wall, get in the wall, get in the wall, get in the wall. Wait, how? How the are they finding us? It's four of them. Epaxel, get to the surface and f run. Like, you need to okay. run. They're below us. They're below us. I see his name tag. Get out, get out. Right, mine up, mine up, mine up, mine up, mine up, mine up. They have better. They're going to have better pickaxes. They're going to have better pickaxes. This is bad. I'm not, I'm not using any torches. I'm just, I'm in the darkness right now right now doing this. Oh my god. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Instruction. Go, 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 go. Don't place any blocks. Don't leave a trace. I don't, see, I don't see anyone, which is good. They're out of render distance again, and they were underground, so they probably had to spend time getting out, so. We made distance and instantly delved into the depths of replay mod. A tool that allows us to watch back previous gameplay. We need to see what sort of armor they had on. Oh, they're below you, below you, below you. Oh, oh, okay. They were in a cave. They, they must have found a strip mine. Yeah, because that's like right as we, that's when we were hiding. Oh, hey. they are so stacked. They're all enchanted. Uh, uh, this is terrible. This attack had made it official. A war has begun between our teams and they have every advantage. To make matters worse, they managed to recruit two completely new members into their team as well. Meaning this was now a 7v3 situation. How are we even going to stand a chance? JJ, oh wait. Wait, wait, guys, JJ just messaged me. May I have a word? Um, um, huh? What could JJ possibly want? After all, we've eluded him and his assassination attempt for the second time now. Does he just want to merely insult us? Is he gonna say he's been following us? Will he tell you to subscribe before we hit 400k to become super cool? No. Instead, he showed us this. Yes, right. Yeah, look, look, look. Yeah, I did have weakness. And then look, look, look. This this is where I tried it. This is where I tried it. So look, I got attacked here. I'm like, oh, okay. There we go. Point blank hit. He takes no damage. For some reason, JJ decided to attack one of his teammates. And while he did successfully kill one of them, it was followed by a chain of unfortunate events. Dani has two bad effects. I have five. Basically, tomorrow, they're going to use me as like a bait in an event to attack you guys and kill you guys. Right, there's seven of us here, and there's three of you. So obviously, pretty low chances you guys are gonna win this. Their team's plan was to lure us over with the promise of valuable items at a suspiciously good price, and it was suspicious because they won't actually have anything to trade at all. In fact, JJ and Diney will be ready to pop out from the ground and surprise attackers, or at least that was their plan. But then I thought, like, we can team up tomorrow, like make it seem like we're against you, but then team up and then kill all of them. So great, JJ and Diney will turn on their team at the last moment in order to kill each and every one of them, right? Well, if you remember, JJ and Diony were the first people we killed on the server. Is he telling the truth? Are they going to help us? Could this all be one big lie? Their team discovered a glitch. It's true. As if their team wasn't already at enough of an advantage, they have been using a glitch that allows you to essentially choose what potion effect you get. Now, to make the fight slightly more fair, I also switched my effect to strength, but our team needed stronger gear. It was less than 24 hours before the big fight, and our enemies far outmatched us for loot. So how could we level the playing field? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. What, 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 uh, what? 
Uh, I have done a bad. Ancient cities are home to two main things, one of which being an insane amount of god apples. Now, these could potentially tip the battle in our favor, but as you know, ancient cities are also home to something else. Something that could end our journey in one hit. Oh, no, oh, apples! Poison! Two notch apples! Two notch apples! Uh oh. Oh my god. Uh -oh. How did you. How did you mess that up? Oh, no! Oh, stop making noise! Stop making noise, you idiot! Yeah, look at how many chests are oh, over here. Oh, yeah, I see a bunch. We're guaranteed wardens if we do this. I oh, don't... yeah, there's one right uh, well, there. We were now faced with one final choice. Do we play it safe, leave these chests, and take our winnings? Oh. Or do we open these chests and just pray the wardens don't manage to kill us? So if we quickly grab everything and pillar up, we're fine. Yeah, just I, get ready to pillar up well, as soon as you open the chest. Three... Two, one, open. No gold apples, run, run, run. Piercing four. Wait, shift. Uh oh, 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 oh,